A Norfolk man faces four charges after police found two dead animals in a dumpster. This case dates back two months. The suspect, Michael Danhart, was in court today. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings was also there. She's now live outside of the Norfolk courthouse with what happened. Brandy? Stephanie Laura, a judge had to decide today whether or not that suspect should have an exam to determine if he's mentally competent to stand trial. Prosecutors want that to happen within 30 days, and a judge today granted that request. Now, right now, Michael Dunhard, Danhart, excuse me, is out of jail on bond. Norfolk police say in January they went to a home on Shearwood Place and found two dead cats in a dumpster. Danhart was charged with two counts each of disposing of a dead animal and cruelty to an animal. After the short hearing this afternoon, he had a lot to say. According to Dan Hart, he didn't do anything wrong. He told me he spent a week in jail because he was set up by a former roommate who doesn't like him. They had evidence because of pictures that he took. You know, it's kind of convenient that he had pictures of something in a dumpster, he said it was. Well, why would he, how would he know he was in, in a dumpster? You know, if he didn't put them there himself, why are they coming at me? Why are they taking my life away? It sucks because I, I've had animals my whole life. I've had exotic, I've had dogs, cats. I've even had an alligator for Christ's sake. And I'm, yet I'm being accused of stuff. Now, Michael Danhart is expected to be back in court in April. At 4.30, we told you we'd let you know what police say you should do in case you have a deceased pet or in case you see a pet that is dead along the road. They say you should call city sanitation for them to come up and pick up the animals. They say animals should never be put in a trash can or a dumpster. For now, live in Norfolk, I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.